Well, hello everybody, it's your pal Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences. I wanted to do something real quick because I've seen some posts and concerns about this report that comes from Check Sequences, which everybody should do all the time. It's important. But this one has me a little stumbled and I'm going to try to explain this very clearly and concisely how I feel about this and what I think you should do about it. Because, you know, you should take every warning, you know, with some amount of concern, but I think maybe with a little more education. As we see here, the Star-Lord Z all group from Gilbert Engineering Star-Lord uh, says that it's sharing at least a node and overlapping in a group or the same group with same nodes. And so, yeah, that, that is true. It is, and by design, if we look at the Star-Lord, and I'm just gonna click on this guy right here, and we go to our lovely submodel group, we'll see that the Z's are Z left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then it goes right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I have a Z left group and a Z right group and a Z all group, and I have two Star Lords. So you double everything up. So when we get to the Star-Lord Z group, you can see here, da, 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 there we go. We have our Z all, uh, as you'll see here, I'm gonna try to scoot this up, that my Z all has Z left one through eight for left, right, and Z two, one through eight, left, right. That's the all group. I don't always use the all group. Sometimes I will for effects, but most of the time I'm using a left or right group. Okay. So in that group, is there a chance that there are nodes that may be touching in there? Absolutely. Phenomenally, yes. And they look great. And I'll illustrate this. If we look at this Star Lord Z all group, I'm using overlay center. Now, someone had mentioned that you may have undesirable results unless you use a per preview, uh, I disagree. You may have undesirable results if you use that in the group level. That's basically the way the buffer sees and it's doing exactly as you're telling the buffer. You can put it on single line and that looks pretty cool. I can deal with that, but it looks just the same on overlay center. And it's only through time with your seat or your butt in the seat that you start learning this stuff and get somewhat familiar with what does work and what it doesn't work. And it's often, I still will just run through different things to see what kind of cool combination I might stumble upon. So if we look at the same effect at the Z right group, now we can see they go right and then go up and around and that is predictable. That's what I wanted to do and I think it looks great. We look at the Z left, it starts left, goes up to the right and back up to the left again. And that looks exactly the way I would want it to. If we take a single strand effect and this time use vertical per model per strand, this guy here, which I love using a lot, that looks great. It looks just great. So overlay and vertical look fine on this. And then this one, the same, they all look good. Now, if we go to a horizontal per model, strand. I'm using two for my chase because I have two models and they're doing the same thing all the way across. Here is the right group and the left group for the Z's. Then we get into the spirals. Spirals is a wonderful, wonderful tool to use and you can get some great things done with it. So that is at the all Z group using overlay center, but watch what happens when I put it on per model per preview. It starts to look like a little bit of a hot mess, doesn't it? Single line? Well, that looks very, very similar to overlay center. Watch what happens when I put this on vertical per model. Oh, no bueno. Oh, sort of a just hot mess, isn't it? So you have to experiment to see what works. It is all dependent on the model type, the group type, the layer settings, and the effect type and its setting. It's like the Rubik's Cube. Who doesn't love that? So here is the 
Z right and Z left as predictable with the overlay center. And then I decide, well, let's put on a pinwheel. What will a pinwheel do on this? Well, that doesn't look bad. That's kind of cool. I don't mind that. I've used stuff like this before. Um, and I'm just using overlay center. If I take it to single line, looks the same per model, single line, per model, per preview. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. I do like that. And now it's working the way I would want that to. But overlay center works too. And then we get to the dreaded vertical per model. And this is where it falls apart. This is where it doesn't like sharing pixels. Heck, it doesn't like anything about this layer setting whatsoever. So I'll put it back on this. That's kind of cool. It looks like I've got spinners on every one of these legs of the Z's. We'll go to the next one. It's sort of the same thing. Overlay center. If I change this to uh, per model per preview, then I get the nice little spinnies there. Okay. And I think I have just a couple more examples. This is just the spinnies. This is the same thing. I just had these set up per model per preview. So here's what I'll say to you. If you are buying sequences from people, the vendors, and the sequence looks great in their video, that's what you're buying. And then you run this check sequence report and you get all this and you freak out wondering if your show's going to work. Uh, do what I do. Grab all this, just start deleting it. Just start it. If, if it doesn't apply to you. Now, if you're sequencing for yourself and you're new, look at these things and try to figure out what are they talking about? What is the deal? That's okay to do and you should until you get comfortable with X lights. But really, there's no reason when you see warning about uh, nodes, touching nodes and submodel groups, um, there are a lot of sequencers. This is how you sequence. This is how you put together sub models. Been doing this for six years. If I've been doing it wrong for six years, I think we'd know by now. All right, that's all I got for you. Take care. Thank you.